puffer's boiler was still only halfway there, so our first night has been a gentle one. Lovely cabin, I mean, you know, right in the hole of the ship, actually, in the very bowels of Vic 32, which they used to use this for obviously storing all the stuff they were taking out to the islands or the ships or whatever, and now turned into these rather elegant cabins. Very quiet because you don't hear any noise in a steamboat. The steam engine doesn't make any noise. It's fantastic. In fact, it's so quiet, I have no difficulty hearing Ron McGrath snoring at all. With another day to kill before the puffer could take us anywhere, another day trip was in order. Oban is a small town whose population triples in the holiday season, the main draw being its ferry terminal and easy access to the island. But for Rory, the attraction lies elsewhere. Oban Distillery, the second oldest in Scotland, okay. after uh, Glen Turret, which is yeah. a tree. When uh, Johnson and Boswell came to Oban, all it was was a distillery. This was all it was. In fact, Oban exists because of this distillery. And it's built up to be, you know, the seafood capital of Scotland. And, Gate, a, very, and, a, and a very beautiful town. Gateway to the Highlands. Gateway to the Highlands, yeah. yeah. But do you intend to start every morning with a trip to a distillery? The doctor said, Rory, a distillery every day. Really? Yeah. And get it done by before 10 o'clock. <laughs> Brendan is the head of the distillery. And being an old hand at this now, I'm showing Zara the ropes. This 10 year old that it's cast strength, so 55, 56% alcohol. Right. I'm just going to give it a quick nose, Brendan. You're, how often do you drink whiskey out of a jug? Daily. Really? <laughs> smell that. Sorry, nose that. It smells of whiskey. Doesn't it? It's got a distinct whiskey smell. It smells of anger and regret. <laughs> <laughs> Late nights in tears. Yeah, it does. <laughs> smells of yeah, yeah, it smells, yeah. smells of I miss my family. Yeah. Uh, but you won't let me near the can. Yeah. That's what it smells like. <laughs> Don't swallow it too much or you'll just get a rush of alcohol. <laughs> That's a great yeah. face. So, I tell you what. That's an honest face. Oh, yeah. okay. So Johnson, in all his travels, writes down everything he drinks. Mm -hmm. And whiskey is never mentioned. It's port, Madeira, rum, Sherry, red wine. Uh, That's kind of before whiskey became a legitimate business. Back then, whiskey was farmers would make it from leftover uh, barley that they couldn't yeah. feed. It was just a way to make some more money, so they'd eat some was of the it, barley. Was that legal? Um, no, it was all illicit until. Was, was it like pushy? Yeah. Um, well, it was. It was still whiskey. It was still whiskey. It was the same process. It was simply done out in the fields by rivers, and they didn't pay tax on it because it was just illicitly. The whiskey they made then would taste almost identical to the whiskey we made today mm -hmm. when they had a good day but there would be a real amount of inconsistency in what they produced. And the barrels they were using, I mean, did they discover that American barrels were good simply because somebody had to get barrels from somewhere? And you, you, you made it in a field as quickly as you could, collected it in whatever um, mm. material you had. So some stuff they probably wouldn't even have put in anything, they would have just sold it straight away and that was rough. <laughs> Griff, meanwhile, is also looking at whiskey at one of the tourist shops. It's everywhere, the whiskey. Look, this is a whiskey shop here. And the whole thing, this is just the sort of Coca-Cola of the Highlands whiskey, really. It's just a, a great big marketing sort of invention. A, a wonderful marketing invention as far as Scotland's concerned, because uh, making whiskey keeps the entire, the entire islands and highlands going, really. The actual whiskey, the actual stuff, you know, the bottle, the labelling, uh, the stuff that goes in there, and it cost 15p. The rest of it was all tax, in fact. The government takes most of it in tax. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm only talking as one who drank his allocation of whiskey before the age of 30. So I, I don't touch the stuff. Mind you, I'm sorry. <laughs> thinking back, as a sort of reformed, a bit of a reformed toper, thinking back, I have to say that the Probably the most odious drink that you could ever drink was whiskey. Except, possibly, a cup of Scottish coffee. No, no, it was nothing. Just what we needed before going to the Kilmore Highland Games. With long jumps and high jumps, hammer, light hammer, yes. get hammered, uh, weight over bar, 
<laughs> what weight? I think anything that requires strength or ability, we should not do. What, oh, you think we should aim for skill? <laughs> yeah, skill. Oh, wait a second. Caber. Yay. This is Caber. You, haven't you tossed a Caber at all? Uh, yes, I'm a well-known tosser around these parts. And uh, how is he doing? It is difficult. It, it is the hardest thing. You can ask, We would not be able to pick up the three of us, one of the Cabers there tonight. Really? Yeah. Very, very heavy. But they there's do no, a caber. There's, there's a Caber for 11 to 15 year olds. We'll do that one. Okay. okay. But to actually take part in the games, the rules state that you must be wearing Highland attire. Since none of us have much more than jeans and t-shirts, and most of those are soaked through thanks to a certain vengeful tidal anomaly, we head to the local tailors. So this afternoon we had to turn up completely as bogus Scotsman. This right, right, okay. What cotton would you recommend that we wore? Cotton, then? I think, to you know, cause no I, trouble. We don't want to cause any clan. I will get difference. you something that will suit you. Is that how much it costs? Yep. Brian, what time Let is that? Let's just That's go gonna... sailing. It's cheaper. I mean, honestly, you can get a full. Don't spoil it. Seven hundred and forty-five quid. Well, let's get kilted up then. Yes. And then you come so. I'm impressed with the fact that your dressing room curtain is in a tartan. Yeah, yeah. It's a spare kilt. An extremely large person. <laughs> yeah. Turning up. Well, well there's we, an extremely large person in there. So. <laughs> We've got nothing that fits you except the changing room curtain. <laughs> we'll drape it around you, Lord. <laughs> you got it, yeah. Assume a possession. I'll tell you the other thing, though, that this, you, this suits Roy because, I don't know, you're a little bit because he has very shapely legs. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, wait a second. You know, we're talking about 20 years ago now, but he used to appear in these horrible lemon yellow, really skimpy little shorts because he thought he'd excited waitresses. And uh, when he turned, you would be surprised about how shapely his legs are. Okay, I'm a okay. Yeah. I, I may be the second one who shaves through the rest of them. Mm. Excuse me. Watch yourself. I feel alright? Yeah. Yes. yes. Fantastic. That looks just like a bath towel. It is a bath towel. <laughs> It is a bath. I just had a bath. Yeah. 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 It's good. And the shapely legs, Rory. It's a look, anyway. I don't think this is the right spawn for you. Let's go and look at some of the spawns. Okay. This is what you do. It's a big, hairy one. <laughs> <laughs> this is, that's look at that. That's that. much more impressive. That's There's a whole badger here. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't mind me saying so, sir. That's much more you. <laughs> I don't really do hats see? well. You do that hat well. That's the best hat I've ever seen you in. It really suits you. Don't move. Oh, no, that's fantastic. Yeah, it really suits you. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't do that. You're ruining it. <laughs> Brian, is that the... Uh, that's the... Oh! That's that's a neat of the the Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome to the shop floor, Mr. Griff Rhys McJones? Oh. 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 oh! oh, that works, actually. Yeah. Are you... Kettless, as you say? Are you? No, I've got mine on. Me too? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm Am I the only... The I'm the only Celt here who left it down for this. I'm the only genuinely some of the soil rugged Highland man. Right. Now Rory and I will... Join you. He pants. You can if you want. <laughs> Come on, Roy. No, I, you just I would have put pin. I would have put clean ones on had I known. <laughs> <laughs> Not the first ones I found on the floor of my bedroom. Hi, ladies. This is what you've been waiting for. <laughs> no, it's too embarrassing to see this happen. It feels like one of those girls on a binge in Nottingham. <laughs> What pristine white... Oh, no, no, don't go no, no. Sorry, no, no comment, true. please. It's enough. It's, 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 it's visual it's, bits. It's been the same uh, time for the last four days. Well, can we shift from this, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny how the rough sort of feel of the carton... It's like you're warming. Chafing you, Griff. Are you, are you being chafed? Quite disturbing. 
Right? You know, mm. I'm fine this way. Look, it's not looking like a uh -huh. comic way. I'm actually genuinely enjoying it. Yeah. Quite used to it, yeah. The origins of the Highland Games are somewhat blurred, but one thing is for sure, that the modern resurgence is down to Queen Victoria and her promotion of all things Highland, including kilts, bagpipes, and people with ginger hair. Well, she was nearly successful. Hey, have we, you, we're the only ones in kilts. I thought you had to have Burgers. a kilt to turn up. Burgers. 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 Yeah, yeah. Burgers. Traditional Burgers. Highland wear is this oh, no. sort of plastic packamack. Are you beginning to feel it now, uh, by Even the way? The you, dog don't, you don't feel the grass when you're in the shop. But you are, are you, it's the commando backfiring. <laughs> you get a certain sense of it right here in the cold. The original games included events like twisting the legs off a cow. Unfortunately, nowadays more normal feats of strength are the main attraction. The Kilmore event is a wee local affair. But some Scottish games attract 3,500 competitors, double that in America. Do you go around all the whole series of Highland games yeah. and compete amongst yeah. yourselves? Yeah. 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 yeah, travel all over Scotland. Yeah? Yeah, from the borders right up to the top of Scotland. Right. So, uh, and then go out on the islands too. Yeah. As far flung as, uh, as well as America. <laughs> That's your summer gone though, is it? Yeah. And then... Used up? No. And then go out when I was in Jakarta and Indonesia, a few months back, going right. And then they go out as far as Japan too. And do you pull trucks along and things like that as well? I've done. I've pulled a car this year. I'm <laughs> throwing a few out of the mud. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Later on you'll do the cable. That's the last event. And the cable is... What's the skill in the cable? It's a different sort of skill. It's the skill of flipping it over. You want it to land on 12 o'clock right in front of you. So we have a back judge, a side judge. So if it doesn't go over, the side judge will give you the angle. While Griff makes his way around the games, we have our own special event planned. And Griff doesn't know about it yet, even though he is the main attraction. There we are. Dart, does that read OK? Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, I can see that. Beat the Griff, a rowing uh, race. No. I think it's a row a rowing race. Rowing <laughs> race, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why don't we just tighten it up a bit? Here, hang on, hang on. Hang on. This is the best bit though. Here, here. Look, sorry. Look, look. That is actually taller than Griffith. That is actually, yeah, it is. Yeah. Mm. It makes him look quite handsome. But the weird thing is, his eyes will follow you around the tent. They do, yeah. Well, who wouldn't want to beat him? Mm. Who wouldn't want to beat this in a rowing race? Yeah. What, you mean that sort of smug Englishman? Yeah. <laughs> Pretending to be well. <laughs> if the rowing race doesn't work, we can use him as a target for the hammer throw. That's a great idea, yeah. Okay, let's get the punters in. I'm very conscious now, funnily. I know it's weird, isn't it? But I am conscious all the time that I'm not <laughs> the best. I, I expect Lindsay Lohan feels like this all day. Well, Are you uh, rowing? Welcome to Beat the Griff. Thank you. What's your yeah. previous rowing experience? Purely recreation. That'll do. If you saw someone like that as your opponent, a smug Englishman pretending to be well. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Peter Griff. What do you have to do? How do I beat Griff? You don't, Griff. Yeah, you but what do I do? That is a rowing race being organised. Yeah. You versus Pick of the Highlands. Yeah. A load of people have signed up to try and beat you. Right there, turn up. In he, a single he, stall. He's been really enthusiastic. The picture has helped. Donald, where are your father? Let the wind blow Highlands, the wind blow through the streets. Can you read that? Griff is having a toss at the moment. No, he's not. He's throwing a hammer. He's throwing a hammer. My mistake. Yeah. The race is the last competition of the day, so in the meantime, we have a go at the other event. Well, okay, this is where... Well... This is where you went. This is where you went. Was it? And this is where I went. Yes. Yeah. There's no... I'm not, I'm not even attempting to compete. I'm just trying to spur you, him on, that's all, yeah. Griff is Good. the most competitive Thanks. man in the universe. <laughs> The guy really looks like one of those guys, doesn't he? Ooh. It's that, is it? Yeah. That's it, isn't it? That's it, yeah. I need, I need to go on this. There's no need. I definitely need to go on this. I know, there's no need to be coy. 
Dara needs an opponent. Clearly, Griff's not built for these kind of sports, and anyway, he needs to conserve his energy for the rowing. Something like that. And the big fellas look a bit big. Luckily, Dee, the game's over 35 champion, is up for a bit of action. All right. And what are we going to have on this way to then? Fiver. Fiver. Oh, yeah. Fiver it is. Okay. Well, yeah. well, I'll take five bets on this. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you just work the arena I'll, here. I'll, I've got to work the, I've got to work the game. Uh, it's as if he was born for this. And he looks so authentic. Not bad, no. That's not really, practice. really bad. Not a practice, not a practice. That's just my nice swap. That was rubbish. That was really bad. That was great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a okay. Let the games commence. Okay. Hold a bit back, yeah. Dee. Hold a bit back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this could be a good battle. This could be good. This could be no, good. I've got, I've got a tenner on you to win, really. But I only got two to one from the miserable mean bookie. Yeah, he's quite strange. He's in the bookie. He's the one. He's in the magic one in the spot. What? I tell you, if Dara gets good at this, we're not going to see him again. He's going to be off across the island for the rest of the summer. Disappearing. Probably more money than stand up in it. Nice big twirl, Dara. Nice big twirl. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Yes! Yes! Oh, it's close. Oh, that's tight. Well, that is. Oh, that's tight. This is a big one. I'm, I'm genuinely quite nervous now. Yeah. yeah. Good luck, Dara. This is for Ireland. Yes! Yes! Oh, oh no, that was good. That was good. Yeah, that's I think it. it's all to play for. Where does he get that strength in his wrist from? No, no. didn't get any further. That's, that's shattering. The last one wasn't good at all. Giving her a win of opportunity. It's that tight. Well, maybe. Oh. Dara has only thrown half the distance that a professional could achieve but nonetheless, the final result is too close to call, and the measure is out. There's Dara's throw. The old world record. Then D. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Wait a minute. And D has friends in the right places. No, no, no. All bets are off. Not on boys. Bookie takes all, I'm so afraid. Hang on. <laughs> Dara, it's yours. Never been seen on television before, Griff handing over money. No, I'm trying to look at this the wrong way round. I was, I was only taking bets on D. Mm. There's your original stake. The original stake, plus the 20. 20 okay. right. You see? Out of all of those who signed up for the Beat the Griff race, we now have to pick a likely contender. We've had a discussion, haven't we? Yeah, and we've yeah. decided that Angus is the man. No. Okay, well, look, what I want to do, just to make it... Put your knickers on. No, no, I will want to put... I'm unhappy about rowing with no pants on. I am. Um, hey, Griff, remember this morning you were talking about, like, tartan and everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. a guy called Angus Scott in a pair of jeans. You, <laughs> Griff Reese jones are the ones that head still in tartan and tweed. Oh, my hat. Angus, you're representing Scotland now. Come on, Angus. Come on, Angus. You're the Andy Murray of rowing. Without even looking now, I'm going for Angus. I'm going to go for Griff. Okay, how much are you going to be on? Okay, uh, what's 50-50 horse? We'll do straight back, even. So, uh, 25 quid. 25 quid. You owe me 25 quid. <laughs> I won't at the end of this. Are you Get six! 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 Get Oh, God. I haven't got the stamina for it. 
Come on, I guess. Hey, guys, it's right. Right, I guess. Right. right. Good boy. Right. Did we pick a guy who's never rode a boat before in his life? Where is the mob? The 50 year old man <laughs> is taking great pleasure in beating the 17 year old. Drama. Griff has lost one of his rollocks. The rollocks, by the way, are the small things, the oar sister. Shame on you if you thought of him different. Well, he's lost an oar. Oh, this is this is genuinely tense, but What's okay, they're going to hit each other. Okay, right, right, hard, hard. No thought in his head for my 25 quid at all. Right, right. I just lost my thing there. Okay, Griff, that's it, back! Come on, Angus! Come on, Angus! Back! Come on, Angus! Come on, Angus! Take your most money, Griff! Let's go! Poor Angus, humiliated on national television by a Welshman in a skirt. Superior technique is winning out. Correction, a cheating Welshman in a skirt. Angus, yeah, come Angus, on here. Well done. Right Angus, come over here. I've got to. Come on, good man. Come over here, man. Well done, Angus. Angus, there are more complications. Come here, because look, I've got a little secret to let you into, Angus. Here, lift up that boat. That's half the weight of your boat. I'm oh, sorry about that. Oh, oh, just before I start. When you go in a rowing race, go down and check both boats, because one of them <laughs> is a good deal lighter than the other one. Well one, done, one's an engine very on the back of yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well done. OK. And the net! <laughs> My boy! <laughs> My boy! <laughs> And finally, the old boiler has warmed up and it's ready to let off a bit of steam. Not Griff, but the Vic 32. Ah, we've had to return the Highland gear to the hire shop, although it definitely tickled our fancy. Just to be clear, the puffer will take us on to where we meet our next boat, a yacht, which is entered into a race that will take us all the way to Oakland. Where are we going to skip the captain? Where are we, go where are we going to? Are we joining a race? No, Hello? we're not racing on this. Hello? The Vic, permission to come aboard. Too late, we're on. Griff may have a history of taking the helm, but Rory has a reputation of crashing boats. So we should warn Captain Nick. Come to port, how annoyed will Griff be if we think that I'm actually steering this? I know, but he's very, 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 do we want to hit the yacht or not, Nick? No, that's better. The insurance company might be upset. Okay. But good fun anyway. Well, it adds excitement to life. <laughs> the strange thing about being on a steamboat is how quiet it is, but also how much hard work. It's 20 shovels of coal every 20 minutes. Lovely. Anybody there? I can hear you, Roy. Can you hear me? I can hear you so clearly. It's amazing, isn't it? It's incredible. You think we were like almost in the same room? Well, I can actually see you. You can see me. Wow, you really are good at this tube thing, aren't you? Here's a question for you, Dara. Guess who is steering the ship? Oh, shut up. I'm only taking over because you're all speaking down the phone. He's not barking instructions. Well, he is because I leave the word instructions off the end of that. You wanted to put more coal on? I'll tell you what, Dara, a little treat for you. Yes? Hold your hand out for each other and drop a little sweetie down for you. Oh! -ho. Hey! <laughs> And if you're a good boy, you can have another one. Thank you very much. It's a cough sweet. <laughs> nice. Nice work, my friend. So 
Woodstock will be saying, you know, who's making sound signals in the front of Europe? special treat for you, Dara. In here we have the, I think it's a 14-year-old um, Jura, which has been aged in a Pinot Noir. Having played out all our childhood fantasies about wrecking the steamboat, it was time to tuck in to the free food and drink we've managed to blank so far. Lamb from the estate and whiskey from the distillery. Imagine a whiff of a 14-year aged wine just in time for you to arrive. Yes, yeah. I rang ahead 14 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, got one as well. Oh my lord! Yeah, yeah. I, I love an oh, octopus. Yeah. Heaven. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? That is amazing. Ooh. What does the whiskey taste like? It tastes very rich, and you get a certain tense, the sense of the um, wine that it was cast in. Musty. Not, not at all, no. no. Dark. Like a sweaty man coming out of a gym. No, <laughs> well, I'm just thinking the sort of the flavour of Rory. Right. No. The deep, well, interesting scent of like, Rory. I'm looking at it, it, it doesn't smell of... It's, it's, but it's it is not, ruddy. You've got to know it is ruddy. It's not yes. peaty and all medicinal, is it? It's no. more, it's smoother, but it's more sort of... Yeah. It's oh, strong, like you, Roy. It's strong, like me. Yeah. It's bright red, yeah. like... Slightly yeah. yeah. out of control. No. Oh, God, that's good. Good. That's really good. We're in heaven. Thank you very much. I don't think I'd prefer to have the actual Pinot Noir rather than the whiskey. With the lamb, yeah. So I, 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 mm. After a day steaming, we make it to Cruz Haven. Next morning, there's a race, a leg of the West Highland Yachting Week. We need to go ashore to sign in. And this seems to be a more elaborate procedure than we had expected. God, imagine yeah. if we have. <laughs> yeah. right. This is not an official. We're doing another three minutes, right? Well, what a surprise. Even I friend, All like I can say is we'd better win the race after that. Perhaps, Griff, it's more sensible not to win. Next morning, Griff was up and about early, eyeing up the competition with Ross whose boat we would be borrowing for the race. Our main job is just to look good on the water, I think. Oh, dear, don't tell the others that. Do you understand how competitive they are? Until we get on board. <laughs> West Highland Yachting Week is one of Scotland's largest sailing events, and we'd be up against 120 other yachts on a 17-mile sail up to the first of Lorne to Oban. One thing you should know, Ross, though, is that Griff is a very good sailor. Dar and I are complete incompetent. No, we not. learn to sail. Down. We do once a year. Once a year for nine days, we get shouted at by you yeah, and taught the same thing we the year before, but have forgotten. The truant was built on the Clyde in 1905 by William Fife, the Enzo Ferrari of boat builders. Ross has spent years restoring it to its original condition, and now he's a worried man. She's an exceptional yacht with an unexceptional crew. Okay, bear away, bear away, Griff. Bearing away. At the start, it's a little bit hectic, but we mustn't cross the line before that gun sounds. Good stuff. Hard enough. You know what's happening, Dirk? No, I don't have that. I'm falling over. Help me, somebody. Have you got the tiller? Okay. And that's our gun, and we're off. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, not that main. Slightly. Yeah, you stay ahead, just on your point, side. Take his wind. Okay, we're the overtaking boat, don't forget. 
Yeah, tell me if you want to yeah, make a position. Head on up, go above him. Good. No, go above him. him. Yeah, sometimes. Find your back. Sometimes. Just oh. anyone. Find your back. Okay, fine. Okay, let's we'll sit here. I'm now. standing by for Sorry, Jack. Wait, Jack. Yeah. That's all right. Shouting at you. I'm just because we've got this big red light here. And we've that got that is your... Look here, look here. Can I overtake the phone? I'm not shouting at you. I'm just instructing you. That is bad. That's bad parenting in a nutshell. The crucial part of the race is at the buoy, where we have to make a sharp right turn to take us on the coast. Which side do we leave it on a starboard side? Okay. okay. It's said that whoever makes the turn first has the advantage. And it seems that every other boat in our class knows this. Alright. Round we go. Better get to windward of all these boats. Okay. Alright. Right. Pull it back towards you. Pull it back towards you. We're not going this side. What are they doing? Come on. We need room! We need room! We need room! We need room! No, 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 Tack, 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 guys, come on. Okay, bear away, bear away, bear away. Bear away. Oh, no. What are they doing? Evil, this is, we have to launch a protest against these guys. We should have stayed on our tack for longer, cleared all of them, and then tack. The mistake we made was tacking into amongst them and finding that the boat immediately to our downwind of us, or upwind of us, was uh, not upwind, I mean, yeah, well, hey, it's, it's nearer the mark, was actually, had not tacked, had just stayed on their course. Then when we tried to, cap, when we tried to sort of overcome that, we found that we had this big green bastard who'd come in and tacked on. Now, he was the one who shouldn't have done that. That what what Griff is saying, and that's what he's saying, it wasn't his fault. Yeah, no, basically, all, all fault. you should take from that is big green bastard. That's all you yeah. should take from that. No, it was my fault. I accept that it was yeah, my but, error but, to tack too soon. By the way, this is the way Griff talks all the time on these trips. We actually just stop listening. Once out in open water, all we can do is find the wind and bomb on up the coast as fast as we can. There's a lot of water coming over here. Yeah, I used to sit there. I used to sit there, yeah, where that ocean is now. Really? <laughs> it's going to be clean. <laughs> One thing is sure, this is a hell of a way to see Scotland, if you can actually take your eyes off the race. I will say this for sailing races, and maybe an endurance test, you do get to eat a sandwich and have a drink midway through. Stinson Button, does he have a, a drink halfway around the I don't think that in the pit they he stops and has a sandwich, no. I think it's a mini bar in his car, doesn't it? During the race, several protests have already been lodged with the race committee about our boy incident. So even at the end, we'll have no idea what our final position is. Stand by to harden up. Stand Stand by. Uh, start hardening up. Start hardening. In fact, the finish line itself is a little bit confusing. Start hardening. <laughs> Harden. That's us, Chris. Is it? Yeah. Is it? That's it. That's it. That's yeah, all finished, that's it. Yeah, I thought the finish was... I've just done a new one. Your, your, your speech was longer than yeah, your instructions for the finish. We still was like, whoa! Oh, yeah! Uh, it's a racist hat. Raise his hat for the finish. The ending came very suddenly, because we all thought the ending was further along. But then somebody went, oh, and we went, oh, it's over. That's how yacht races end. A man goes, and then you just stop. Next time, our journey continues north. Testing our sailing skills. Are you sure it's something? I can hear it ripping. Our fishing skills. I've got my fish. I've got it. I'm on fish. And Rory's skills at plugging yet more free whiskey. We get more remote and the boat becomes more crowded. Three men become four. I feel like I'm a pawn in a game here. I'm being drawn into a maelstrom of bitchiness and gossip. But hang on, Griff, what about the race? Where do we come in the race? Which class, class will we? Class, class seven. seven. A four, five. Seven. 
Batten! Ha <laughs> ha! You think that? And the adventure continues Thursday at 8. A homemade flavoured beer showdown between Oz and Hugh on the way next as they continue their mission to raise the bar. The good and the bad bits of 2010. Charlie Brooker looks back at the year in an hour here on BBC Two.